since I have a few extra minutes with you, I have a few uh, I call fun questions. I promise they're softballs. Okay. Um, how hard is it for you to not spend all day posting pictures of your cats and dog on Instagram? I mean, I, I rarely succeed not to doing that. I pretty much always do that. So, yes, impossible. I always think I, I, they're doing cute, funny shit. So I feel like, you know, if it cheers me up, it might cheer four or five other people up. So they, they, they appear. A hundred percent. Also, your cats seem like they're very chill about everything. Yeah. One of them really is. And one of them is, you know, a junior Jedi in that department. <laughs> So she, yeah, there is one, one of the cats is he happens to just like all the things I like, like dressing him up and <laughs> making him dance. And he, he's just completely down for whatever the vibe is, which isn't very cattish. That's why it's uh, worth sharing, you know, because he's an unusual creature. Listen, I can watch I can look at cat pictures all day. Bring it on. Okay. Um, so one of the <clears throat> one of the search terms regarding your name is, is Kate Beckinsale in Lord of the Rings? I, and it's a very high search term. And I don't understand. Do you know the reason why people are, or this is such a high search term? Is it because I've got, you know, large-ish feed? Uh, I, I, first of all, I have no idea. Second of all, no, it's I, just, I mean, I, I have a regular normal, I don't have to get a special shoe, but like, you know, I'm like a nine and a half. But yeah, I, I, I don't know if that qualifies you for a hobbit. Sure. It's interesting that you jump you jumped to the Hobbit. I was I'm just curious how people are associating your name with Lord of the Rings and it's such a high search thing. That is really strange. I didn't know that either. Um, the, my mind was boggling a bit when you said search term. I could I mean please don't tell me anything worse than that. <laughs> right. It was just Lord of the Rings. Like, okay, fine. Yeah, that's right. a real mystery. I've no idea. Am I? Maybe I am. I I I I've only seen one of them. It's okay. When do you, you, uh, I, I am curious, when did you feel like you made it as an actor that you could do this for a living and like not work another job? I think that's always under construction for all actors. Everyone's kind of going, I shouldn't do this. I'm never doing it again. I, but, you know, I think it's one of those things you just always kind of, anybody artistic should be kind of questioning themselves all the time. Um, I think there comes a point when you've been doing it for a decade or two when you think, wow, I've really screwed myself because now I can't become a doctor. So I've kind of left it a bit late, you know, but I'm English. I'm never sitting there going, oh, I've, I've, I've got to that point now. I, we, we don't do that. I've heard that from other uh, uh, people from England. Uh, jumping <laughs> yeah. into why I get to talk to you today. What was it about this story and script that said, I want to do this? Um, one, the fact that it was completely original. And I love the fact that it was a female led action comedy that wasn't based on a video game or a comic book or anything else. And that there was an opportunity for this completely unique character who, you know, she's English, she's kind of it's very sassy, but she's got, you know, a lot of self-loathing. She's got a lot going on and she's, you know, there's a nice mix of kind of vulnerable and sort of goofy and tough. And I, I thought it was a really interesting story. I love, I love original m movies and I, I, I love there being more of those, especially in like the action space with the female lead. I think it's, you know, something I, I really like that, that that's, if that works well, it's really exciting. Oh, I'm, I'm completely with you. And uh, anything original, uh, I, as you can imagine, I see a lot of movies. So anything yeah. that has an original thing, I'm like, bring it on. Yeah, exactly. Because I think, you know, I think obviously I totally understand that, you know, if you make a movie about I can't believe it's not butter, all the I can't believe it's not butter fans will come and there's a sort of guaranteed audience. But I think there's something really cool about, you know, not having an expectation of a character or, you know, oh, I, I imagined this person so differently when I read the book, you know, whatever. Like this is this is it. This is what it is. She's for this movie. And that's where she exists. Uh, I'm obviously a huge fan of Stanley Tucci. Uh, how hard is it Who to work? Who isn't? Yeah, I mean, find course. me that person and let's annihilate them. A hundred percent. How hard is it to work with him on set and not spend the day talking about Devil Wears Prada? Or, yeah, or saying, could you please make a panini for me or some amazing salad or just tell me anything that you think is important for life? He's just amazing. He's he's amazing and he's up for a laugh. He's a giggler, um, but he's just I, I, I adored him. Do you think he liked you enough 
that he will ask you to guest star on Searching for Italy season two. I'm worried that he might not have. <laughs> and I've, I hadn't even had that thought and I'm gonna go ahead and stress about it. Why didn't he ask I, me for season one? Well, I mean, you never know with season one, you're, fin- you're figuring out the show, but with season two, maybe he wants to have guest stars. I'm already offended. I <laughs> <laughs> you- really felt a connection there. <laughs> um, I love learning about like the behind the scenes on the making of a movie. So maybe yeah. what do you think might surprise people to learn about the making of Jolt? How much opera Laverne Cox sang during it? Someone else said that to me. I, I'm, yeah, I don't, I'm not lying. <laughs> there are other witnesses. I had no idea. Yeah, nor did I. No, she can really get up there. Before I run out of time with you, uh, I'm so curious about Charlie Day's directorial debut, El Tonto. Mm-hmm. Have you yeah. seen it? What can no. you tease about this? Uh, you know the the plot of it. I mean, it's a yeah. So I don't know. I don't, I'm not. I'm not quite sure. I I loved my scenes. They were really funny. But I haven't seen the whole movie together. I play a sort of horrific movie star um, that Charlie marries for a, a minute. And, I cannot uh, wait. Uh, but let me ask you about Guilty Party, which I believe yeah. you just recently filmed. For what can you tease yeah. about that project? Um, it's a, it's another kind of comedy drama, uh, vibe. It's, uh, it's about a journalist woman whose kind of marriage is a bit iffy and she's kind of disgraced herself at work and she's not in the best place. And so she's kind of looking for something to save her. And she finds this young woman who's been, uh, in prison for a while and she decides she's going to try and kind of, you know, tell that story and make a difference, but she's, you know, she's, she's flawed. (laughs) <laughs> they all are <laughs> i understand i have to stop there seriously congrats on this and thank you so much for giving me your time my pleasure thanks so much